Hi friends, it's Monica and let's watch Shadow and Bone Season 1 Episode 3. So welcome back to this little series that I've been uploading and reacting to Shadow and Bone Season 1 and seeing if it upholds over a year. If you have not yet watched the first few episodes of my reaction, um, I will be linking those down below. So let's just get right to this one. I think this one was really juicy. Let's, let's see what happens. The first appearance of the stag. That's quite significant in this season. This is when Alina wakes up and she's like, oh my god, everything's so fancy and there's people waiting on me hand and foot. I care that you look terrible. And this is Jenya. And that's the location of our target. Sounds similar. Alleged. This storyline with the crows, now they're trying to actually get across the fold and get to Alina. I think in general, I like this storyline because it's like an introduction to the crows and it's nice to see what they were doing before the book. And we get our introduction to someone else now. Nina, you're late on payment. I love Nina. Puritans hunting her down and they take her away but she does put up a good fight and the crows um, figure out that the Puritans have taken her or Druskela have taken her when she was supposed to meet up with them <laughs> Stop that! I like how Alina is just being a little bit goofy here with like blowing at the veil Has a creature ever escaped? Planning on making a break for it. And again, there's like a little bit mention of her being like a prisoner. Or rather, small science. We do not conjure from nothing. And I really like how they're explaining how the magic is come about in this world. And although it may be in passing, but I like it how it's at least acknowledged. So they're going to meet the king now. And I really like this scene as well. She is Alina Starkov, the Sun Summoner, Moya Zarit. So I really like how the Darkling says to that question that he also asked Alina, who are you? She's like, I am Alina Starkov. And then now the King's asking the Darkling, who are you as well? And um, the Darkling says, she's Alina Starkov. Ooh, I like that parallel. Now call the sun. And this is honestly one of my favorite scenes is Dark and light theme. You were perfect. I don't know where it came from. It came from everywhere. That's a lie because she didn't summon it on her own, but we will see. And I feel like now Alina is like in that feeling of false promises that she's the chosen one and then she will be ever beloved in the kingdom. You stink of the orphanage, half breeds. But then Zoya is still kind of a little bit of a meanie. She's a bully. And I really love the goat in the scene with the crows. That if I saw the names on there, I could let the idea of them go. So with Kaz here, he's quite harsh to Inej and I think she's used to it with the time that she spent with him and he, how he's saying like hope is really dangerous. So, of course, that makes us more curious about Kaz's backstory. But I really like this little scene about learning about Inej's um, parents. I thought you respected your women. You are not a woman. You are Grisha. So this scene is following Nina after she's been captured and she's now on a ship to Fjorda. Fjorda. And I think this is our first encounter with Matthias. In this scene, it shows that he was there when she was captured, so... This is of their like official meeting and it's not really a happy one. <laughs> Some training sequences that we usually get in a fantasy show. So then Mal, of course, is there helping her and teaching her. Huh. And this is where Alina is like having her own personal beef with Zoya. So it's like nice to see this side of Alina. And I think it also links back to her jealousy of Zoya supposedly being with Mal back then. And we have the history books in the library, which again is typical in a fantasy show. We learn about like the stories of, I think, the stag here. It is important that we are friends. He does come off as quite creepy here. 
I actually really like Bagra as a character and even in the books and I hope we get to see more of her in like, the later seasons. Then what are you? The Sun Summoner? Again, another person asking, what are you? I think it's safe. <laughs> and this scene is really funny with the taste tester. <laughs> and the crows here, they're in the fold now going to the other side. It's not bait, it's for you. I need you to calm down. Hug the goat. Shut the hell up. And Jesper is literally me with any animal. <laughs> He's just badass. And I hope we get to see more of oh, like these kind of scenes in the future. And they made it safely across the fold. And throughout this episode, Alina was writing to Mal and it just shows that she still has that friendship in her mind and even though she's in this new place of the little palace and the grand palace and meeting the king and all that and now she has like this great power but she's still thinking about her friend and to her comfort of what she's known if i really do have this power who am i again asking who am i what are you and her home is now gone and she's separated from her home and i think again the emphasis on mal and alina is really well done in the show and it just makes you feel a lot of things but i think everyone likes the thought of the darkling and alina together because it's obviously like the the more spicy route in terms of romance but I'll react to those episodes when I get to them. So that was the end of episode 3 of Shadow and Bone. I hope you enjoyed watching my reactions and although with this episode you're just learning more about the characters, you're learning everyone's going through their own journeys so I didn't really have much to comment on this one because Alina is meeting the king and she had really some funny reactions to that and questioning her place now in this world. Can she actually save this entire country? The people of Ravka is all depending on her. And then we have the Six of Crows crew. They're traveling across the fold and they're uncertain about if they will get through the fold, but then they do. So we were just like kind of getting our footing still and I'm excited to watch the other episodes and react to them. So stay tuned for episode 4 of my reaction and that will be uploaded really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see you all soon.